Oh hey, welcome back. Got a new devlog. Trying to do some work on planets, as you can possibly see. Um, Alright, I've put together a very, very placeholder-y island. This triangle here is just so that I know where things are. Um, put together some, using some placeholder assets. They do look nice, but don't quite aesthetically match. Um, this could be a chest one day. You could open up and find a thing. Anyway, got a ship just half hanging out in the water. There's no water physics. It's just a sphere collider. Um, got some more terrain over there. Um, got some water that looks maybe a bit familiar to anyone who's played Wind Waker or seen Wind Waker. Um, yeah, some of these things don't fully line up, but uh, I'll show you why. Uh, but they do move. Yeah, got another colored thing here so I know where things are lining up. Yeah, it looks alright. It's a tree. Sun. Um, yeah, there's a... Uh, yeah, the, the water... <laughs> the water movement and interaction with anything else uh, could definitely be improved. I mostly like it, the aesthetic of it, but uh, yeah, it still doesn't quite... It's not quite working, but um, it is solid, like you would expect water, so... You know, that's good. Um, yeah. So let's uh, let's get in the ship though, um, which is definitely parked well. Even though I built this island, I didn't build it with any real intention in use. I just wanted to see it working. Um, yeah. You might be able to see a little bit more post-processing effects. They're very subtle. Yeah, they'll become more apparent though. Uh, can I get in? Oh no. Yeah, I've got to get into the water to get into the ship. Uh, here we go. Oop. Ship has its own gravity, obviously. Um, there it is. Post processing effects show up there. Let's get in the chair. There's some shiny stuff there, too. Oop. So, one thing I haven't done is atmospheric drag for the ship. Yeah, definitely moves too fast in atmosphere. But yeah, there's a little, little island I made. Um, but yeah, let's see what it feels like uh, turning around, heading up into space. Swing! Yeah, uh, the the point light for the sun looks much smaller in the sky, which is kind of deliberate. Mostly wanted it to be like not so imposing because it is, you know, it's a scaled down system. It would look very big otherwise. Um, well, I probably need to play around with that. Got these rings out here. We can turn around and see. Okay, where's it going that far off from where that planet is? Uh, <laughs> island. Uh, yeah, so you can see from out here. If we come back in, uh, there are clouds that you can see from the outside, but not from the inside. It's definitely a lot of little, lot of polish definitely needs to happen. Um, I mean, obviously, but yeah, have it where the water actual effect fades in a bit, so it's not quite so intense. Looking at this water effect from space uh, just looks like noise from a distance, so it's, which isn't great. Um, but yeah, so I need to have it that you slow down, find a place to land, pop down, get out, walk around, all of that. Because um, yeah, otherwise you're coming in and out of space very quickly if there's no drag. Um, but yeah, so I'll show you. The, some of this took a lot more time than I thought because being a I played a lot of a pr I played around a lot with the actual size of the planets, um, just to try to get the feel, the right feel for like how big a planet is, because I don't want it too big. That's just pointless space wasted. But having it too small, it feels like you're standing on a rock, especially if we've got larger ships. Um, yeah, I'll just show you know the new post processing effects as well. Very shiny, much much bright, um, which is. Which is what I'm going for. Um, I didn't make those. I bought those. Um, I've tweaked them, but yeah, they look much better than anything I could do, which is very nice. Um, like how you can peek through. Definitely should be able to peek through there. Definitely a sp space space worthy ship. Um, yeah, but yes, this is a three kilometer radius ball basically. So I guess six kilometers across. Um, and yeah, 
uh, even at that re even at that size, uh, this island, which I modeled as being flat and placed all the objects on it as being flat, um, I had to come up with some uh, some code to like actually like put this on a sphere so that the edges aren't poking out and sticking out like a flat board. Um, and same with these trees, having them all well, all the objects uh, placed uh, on a sphere. So I will show you what that looks like in a moment. All right, so here's what the island looks like just on its own, and uh, not worrying about the uh, the terrain and all of that. Um, so this is set for a planet that has a radius of 3,000. So I have one component that kind of controls how big everything is. Um, sorry, the, the radius for everything. Um, I only have to change it at one point. Um, you know, if I change this from 3,000 down to 1,000, see it slightly changes it changes to 800 um, I've also fixed that it's not actually moving in space it also moves it in and out to match the radius but then the camera object will be constantly moving 500 300 200 okay, you can start to see things really starting to bulge out it starts to look a bit weird but you know we've got the trees you know, sort of pointing outwards a bit more um, to sort of match the uh, the terrain. It's not perfect. I still haven't fully figured out exactly why it doesn't fully line up. But uh, yeah, you can kind of see though from this size um, that you know a ball of radius uh, 100. Uh, where is it? Yeah, 100 would fit in there. And then if you bring it down even more, 70 like really starts to exaggerate <laughs> looks a bit weird yeah the lighting so it has to go through and like recalculate it basically uses the xy coordinate of each vertex uh, and treats it like a lat long um, like a geo position gps um, and then remapped it onto a sphere um, of this of the correct radius and so yeah if you have something you know yeah, I, I wanted it that like if you had a bridge or something between two islands that the bridge itself would match the curve and like everything would line up correctly. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's worked reasonably well. It seems to work perfectly good. Let me put that to 3,000. Let's go 30,000. There we go. Now it starts to really look a bit more flat. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, the, the mesh stuff works reasonably well. I had to you know, recalculate the normals and all of that as well. Um, but it's, yeah, some of these objects here, if they're pointing straight up, it's fine. But some of these rotated objects where they've already got their own rotation and you need to apply it, gets a little tricky. Um, and yeah, it's also because it's lat long, this is at lat long zero, basically. Um, that's why it's pointing out to the side, kind of where, where null point is uh, just south of, uh, well, kind of in near the coast of Africa. Um, I can't remember the exact country in Africa, but uh, yeah, that's where null point zero zero lat long is on Earth. Um, so then you can just take that though and just rotate it around the center of the planet to actually put it to wherever you want. Um, but yeah, it seems to work reasonably well. Um, but yes, obviously there's always more work to be done. Um, yeah, here's hoping um, that everything comes together and i can actually do more stuff with planets uh the big thing being that like the atmosphere doesn't look quite right i want planets to be able to rotate all this sort of stuff which i played around with and uh, weird things happened so or everything's always more complicated anyway where am i oh yeah i fixed the player in position above the planet um yeah um yeah, hopefully I have some more stuff to show in the next one, which could be a while, but we'll get there. Anyway, see ya.